Bet you weren't expecting this. Hi guys, I'm Mooney and welcome back to my channel Mooney Reads. And I have to address one thing before we get into this video and that is the hair. Uh, yes, I cut my hair. Um, another thing I have to address is my voice and my lack of energy. Number one, the subject that I'm talking about today is not something that I kind of want to like, hi, you know, be super, super duper happy about. And number two, here it is. <laughs> I suffer from, oh, I'm sorry, there's construction going on. Sorry if you can hear the, the noises, but I suffer from really, really intense, severe allergies. And editing my sniffling out of videos has been the new hobby that I never knew I was going to pick up. So if you hear me sound like I'm sick, don't worry, I'm fine. I just have allergies and my lack of energy is also because the medication that I take makes me super sleepy. And also, well, again, this video is not a happy, fun, energetic video. I'm sure we are all aware of the things that are happening in the United States right now. And I say the United States because this is where the state of alarm is at the moment. This is where where it began. I know that there are other countries that are also protesting, which I am very happy about. But I'm just saying like, I think we all know what the situation is right now. And that is the fact that a black man was once again murdered by a police officer. And that police officer is so far as of the moment that I'm fa filming this video, not facing any consequences, or at least the consequences he's facing are not up to the crime that he committed. So I was originally gonna film a fun video about books that I recommend you would read in the summer, but I felt that I needed to use my platform in a way that makes me feel like I am not a silent participant because trust me, if you are silent, you are a participant of the horrific treatment of black people all around the world. I just needed to make a video touching on this subject from a place where I knew what I was talking about. And this, this is the time to talk about a subject that I previously touched on a little bit but in the basis of sexuality, of romantic relationships, but I think it needs to be talked about race. And that is that fiction is not education. I am on book Twitter and I have seen a lot of people with the very best intentions, but you know, intentions sometimes don't equal results recommending that to get to know what it's like to live as a black person in the United States or anywhere, that to really understand and to be educated, especially the word educated, about the black experience in America, that you should read some books recounting racism from fiction. And I'm sorry, but that I'm not okay with that. As an educator, I'm not okay with that. Let me just say, number one, I am not saying you should not support black authors right now or their works of fiction. No, you should, first of all, you should always support black authors, always. I don't, I don't care. Don't use this as a like, oh, now I'm gonna support black authors because a black man died. Like, that's some shitty bullshit, no. And don't go the other way where it's like, well, I'm not gonna read any fiction because it doesn't teach me anything. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Let's, let's get that clear. You should always support people of color and you should always support black authors. What I am saying though is don't approach their books as education. Don't approach their books as, oh, I read The Hate You Give, therefore I understand what it's like being a teenager that witnesses a crime being committed against their friend and not being able to say anything about it. Because this is fiction and we cannot take fiction for reality. And in fact, psychologically, when we see fiction, we are able to remove ourselves from the problem because in the end, it's fiction. Here's the thing, those characters, 
don't have to go home after that book and face consequences. Those characters don't have to grow up and birth children that are going to be targeted by police for their skin color. Those characters are not real and that is an important conversation to be had. You have to educate yourself by reading non-fiction. Non-fiction is education. Fiction can be educative in many ways. Fiction can bring us closer to a subject that we didn't think that we could get close to. Fiction can bring us emotionally close to something but fiction is not education and the fact that we're using fiction as education really really grinds my gears as an educator and as a woman whose family doesn't have white privilege there are real stories out there produced by black people about the real black experience produced by muslim muslim people about the real Muslim experience. And again, I am not saying that just because a work is fictionalized that it's not correct or not accurate, but we are not getting to the to the to the root of the problem by pretending that fiction is going to teach us about the real world. Just like we shouldn't be learning about relationships from books, we shouldn't be learning about anything other than feelings from books that are fiction accounts of things yes it's okay to approach books and say what is this saying about the real world but in the end those characters when you close the book they're there and they finish and the world that they create is the world in the mind of the author and sometimes that world is very close to reality but it's not reality you want to learn about the black experience in America, read some nonfiction about the black experience in America written from a black person. Let's not forget that nonfiction is still a work of art and also that black authors within nonfiction are the least read authors. Why? When we have stories from black people about their real black people problems, do we turn to fiction then to experience them? When we have these stories right here, I wish, I wish really that I was more educated on this subject so that I could recommend some books for you. But the reality is that I am not perfect. And I looked at my bookshelf of nonfiction and I realized that I only have white authors. And that made me look at myself a little bit closer. I am not saying again that just because you don't read nonfiction, you don't read nonfiction? Yes, just because you don't read nonfiction that you are not educated at all on the subject. I am just saying that we shouldn't use fiction to educate, especially, no, I was gonna say especially adults, but children too, and, and just people. There are nonfiction books for kids. There are nonfiction books, and these are not textbooks. These are biographies. These are stories. These are just accounts of people's lives that need to be heard real stories need to be heard because when a character dies sure yes psychologically we do feel emotions that are akin to reality but that character doesn't have a mother that is grieving and a grandfather that will never see their granddaughter and grandson graduate they don't have those things but to te to, to really understand the black experience or any experience. Yes, it's good to approach fiction. I am not saying that fiction is wrong or else what the hell are we doing in English class reading literature? Of course, literature is important, but don't use literature to talk about education of real life problems. I have here the five, the untold lives of the woman killed by Jack the Ripper. Now, this is a non-fiction book account talking about the lives of women clearly killed by Jack the Ripper. I wouldn't watch a movie about one of these women and say, oh, 
this is the education that I'm getting about this. This is all the real facts that I want to know about this situation. No, like you wouldn't do that, right? So why would you do that with fiction? Again, you're supposed to support black authors, not just now because a black man was once again murdered. You should be supporting black authors Period. And you shouldn't only be supporting black authors writing about the black experience. You should be supporting black authors writing about sci-fi and fantasy and middle grade and thrillers and everything. You should be supporting black authors because they exist. Period. You should be supporting them. But don't use their fiction books as education. I would never ever consider any, I don't care how well written it is, fiction book about what it's like to be an illegal immigrant, education for anyone about the illegal immigrant experience. Because in the end, usually with these books, what happens? There is either justice served or, you know, in the end, these are characters. These are characters. I can't stress this enough. These are characters when there are real people out there. I would not read a fictionalized account of the women killed by Jack the Ripper and consider that I know about them. I would you I wouldn't do that. And it upsets me when book Twitter is like, if you want to know about the racism in America, read the following YA fiction novels. That upsets me. Because there are real people out there living this and there are real people out there writing about this. So please, please, I, again, I am not saying don't read these stories. What I'm saying is don't confuse fiction for education on real life subjects. Don't use them to learn about relationships. Don't use fiction to learn about racism. Don't use fiction to learn about sexuality. Don't use fiction to learn about real life subjects. Use fiction to have a cathartic moment wherein you say, what is this story trying to tell me? Yes, that's good, and I, and I feel that that's important, but don't further marginalize the black experience in America or anywhere by ignoring the fact that there are black authors writing non-fiction about their experience. I wish I had books to recommend to you. I, I considered I considered looking up black authors talking about their work, but the reality is I don't feel comfortable recommending books I haven't read. That that's that's the reality of the situation. I just don't feel comfortable with it. But what I am going to do is I'm gonna find some links about black people recommending books about their experience living in America that are nonfiction down in the comments. And that's going to be where I end this video. I I hope I got my point across. I always, I never know if I do get my point across in these videos because I'm talking from the heart. I'm not scripting anything. I'm not, I'm not scripting. I'm not, I'm just, I'm just a woman online talking about a situation that is horrific. I don't, come into this as an educator with notes prepared because that's not what this pl platform is. This platform is about discussion. This platform is usually about fun. But I didn't feel comfortable not putting up anything that touches on the subject and just going on as if the world is the same because it shouldn't be the same. Yeah, you should be out. There's no other word for it. You should be angry. If you're not angry, then I don't know what to say to that really. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you enjoyed my haircut. <laughs> I really, um, yeah, it's, it's a sad thing. It's a sad thing what is happening in the world and what has been happening in the world, what happens everywhere in the world and i just wanted to bring this to the area where i know what the fuck i'm talking about and that is reading books reading non-fiction reading fiction i don't think a lot of people talk about the power of non-fiction books and what they do to you when you really feel those books i i don't know how to end this i
You know when you have something in your heart and you just can't find the words for it? It's funny because as a writer, when I write, I always have the words. But when I speak, I've always had a hard time expressing myself. And I know you're thinking, girl, you make 40 video minute videos. Where do you have a hard time expressing yourself? But in this, I just don't know what else to say. So I'm just gonna say, stay safe, be angry, educate yourself, support black authors, black lives matter, and I'll see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.